number 23, if a point is in the first quadrant, it will always be A. So we're talking our quadrants. We think of drawing the letter C, where we start the letter C is first, then second, then third, then fourth. So this is your first, this is your second, this is your third quadrant, and this is your fourth. It says if a point is in the first quadrant, it will always be the point A. So he is A. If it's in the second, it is B. He's in the second, so he's B. And this point's in the third, so he is C. It says find me the midpoint of B to C. Where's the middle of this line segment? It looks about like there to me, but we're going to find it perfectly. To find the midpoint, we need to know where B is located in C. Well, B is over negative 3 up 5, so he has the order of pair negative 3, height of positive 5. C went over negative 4 and down negative 2. So we have the coordinates. Now, to find the midpoint, we just need the middle of the x values and the middle of the y values. So to find the middle of anything, we add them together and divide by 2. So let's add our x values together, negative 3 plus negative 4 and divide by 2. The middle of our y's, 5 plus negative 2. See, negative 2, there was your 5. Divide by 2. Negative 3 plus negative 4 is negative 7. Divided by 2 is negative 3 and a half. 5 plus negative 2 is 3. Divided by 2, negative 1 and a half. There's our midpoint. Let's look over negative 3 and a half, which would be about right here. Up one and a half, about eh, right here. So that point right there is where the middle of that line segment BC happens to be.